So as a guy, if a girl approaches you, like Papa made reference the other time, it takes a lot of courage. Don't be stupid. Don't be foolish. Because foolishness, you understand better. Meaning you are ignoring God. You say there's no God. So don't be foolish. Don't ignore God. And then declare it in the street of Jerusalem. He said, declare it not in God. Hallelujah. Let the daughters of what? Philistines rejoice. Because as you declare it now, other daughters will begin to rejoice. Daughters of Philistine. Protect this lady's interest. Hallelujah. Yeah. And that's why you're not misbehaving, even to the very lady too. They call you, you will not pick. Hallelujah. Or when they not call you, say, she's calling me again, she's calling me again. This lady will not let me rest. As you are doing your own, be counting it, because when you start looking for, for her, when they will multiply your own, Hallelujah. That's why when you see a guy that is being humbled very well by a lady, don't rush and be you know, feeling for the guy. Ask the guy for his story. Hallelujah. The Bible says, God say, leave vengeance for me. The daughter of the Most High has presented you before the Most High God. You are also his son, but God knows how to give it. He will just give you a little so that you test. Amen. Amen. So when you seek these things, you see everything, 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 it comes in a package. That's why no matter what anybody is telling you, hold on to God. Hallelujah. Do what? Hold on to God with all your power, with all your might, with all your strength. That's what the Bible says. Love the Lord thy God with all your what? Everything in your being. Everything. Everything. It's way of doing and being right, the attitude and character of God. Just a few minutes ago, we, we, we saw, uh, ye are gods. You as gods, hallelujah. You being God, you have to have the character. Hallelujah. And whatever it is you are seeking, is really Ghana mana super ikala falusia. When we were saying, you know, towards the end of preaching on Sunday, it was giving the testimony of our beloved sister. You know, it's good sometimes that you know someone and when things are happening, it's obvious that God's hand is involved, I'm telling you. Because now, when the person, same person was here, when it was not so rosy, when the person is going through tough time, some people now over there now will, will not know the story. Hallelujah. To them now, look at how she's doing them. Show me the way, show me the way. If you now point you now to God, you will not follow the way. Hallelujah. I mean that reference to say that it comes in packages and it's when it's time. This is how God's there's principle in heaven. When it's time, God delivers it. Hallelujah. It's time to study now. God has delivered this grace of grace for study, like we are seeing already. And there's a grace, there's a gift in giving to you. So you finish, God has delivered a particular grace now to a guy, a different grace to keep hustling. Yes. To a girl, double grace to hustle and to get ready to marry. So for you, that is the guy, hustle. Whatever you are doing, do it well. If you're hustling, hustle well. Like the Bible say, like Pastor ended with that one also. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 31, he said, covet earnestly the best gift. I will show you my excellent gift. Don't covet now to be married when you should be hustling. Hallelujah. There's some prayer points you should skip sometimes. Hallelujah. There's some prayer points you should do what? So when people come to and say, we are praying for grace to, to be found. To find and be found. And you now, you just graduated a guy, you are just 20. Or you, you okay, 
you said, if you have a poor graduate 20 uh, in medicine, I know some, or let's say 22 on the average. And you are praying same prayer with passion. Lord, I want to find, what do you want to find? Yeah? Hallelujah. You should seek to find work. When people are raising that kind of prayer, you should be praying it hard. Even if you have a work doing, you pray so that more work will come. So that more money will come. Hallelujah. Oh, where, where are we? You do go out too far. Hallelujah. Oh. Are you learning something? Ke paladus kufradisa balagune. Go back to Psalms 122, verse 7. You see, for, you see, peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. Hallelujah. So we read there and we went to Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12. Now there is something the Bible says in that particular place. So saying that money is a defense. And sometimes you need to seek these things if not because of yourself, because of your family members. Can you go to Exodus chapter 7, verse 12? Oh, oh, hallelujah. God bless you. But the excellent advantage of knowledge is that wisdom sheets and preserve the lives of its possessions. Hallelujah. It is, she is and preserves. So if nothing, if not because of anyone, because of your family. Hallelujah. If not because of anyone else. So there are things you should do. Always consider the people you have in your life. You don't make foolish decisions because one wrong decision, see, there, there are risks you can take as a single, for example. When you're married, there's risks you don't take. Hallelujah. Because now you are not alone. You don't take stupid risks because it's not only you to affect. You can be it when you were, you were single. Now, so many, so many people take risks, for example. You see a, a particular investment, of course, like they will tell you, you investment, or um, they will motivate you and tell you, say risk, you know, you have to take risk. You know. All the money you have, pa, $2,000. You are crying. Hallelujah. Just last month, someone called me. <laughs> oh, I, I, this is COVID period. Are you gasping for breath? What is the problem? So no, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. I want, I want to die. Don't die. Why do you want to die? I said, okay. I'm very busy. I will, I will. Um, I'll call you. I'll call you. I was driving. I saw the person just walking. I stopped. I said, where are you going to? Because this area doesn't look like your normal. He said, I'm not going anywhere. I just, just want to, if, if he's dying, let me go and die. I said, you will not die. I said, turn, turn back and go home. What happened? Tuition fee was invested. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. And, he, and, he, and he, was, he was showing me how he was looking at the thing. You know, he thought the thing would be, would be, would be going on. Sorry, the Bitcoin, it was also. <laughs> for, with, he showed me on the with his very, very own eye, tuition fee. 4,000. You know, this kind of thing. You know, if you, uh, it's good to laugh, but I hope you are learning. You know, this kind of thing, if you've not been in this kind of situation before, you will not understand. Now, he, he doesn't know what to do. So, 1,000 gone. We're to stop it to save 3,000. No idea. So hoping that it will, it will do bank back. Of course, it will bank back a little bit. Oh, we're we are getting it. It's coming again. La left with 2,000. Should I go out there? Or the he left it. Papa, Papa, show me account. Zero. Hmm. If it ends here, it's fine. 
just to bounce back. Borrowed a little from someone. <laughs> so, this is where the matter is now. Not this owner. This is where the matter is now. Hallelujah. Put it again. Well, show me the child. Pa, 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 pa. Whoa, we are coming back again. Oh. I said, go home. Go and rest. Killing yourself won't solve the problem. What are the possible options? There are things, you know, one or two things we discussed, and I said, We'll do it this way, we'll do it this way. I believe everything will get fine at once, of course, but with time, which is part of the lesson you learn too. And to some extent now, uh, you know, it's okay. Uh, to some extent. For wisdom is a possession, and even money is a protection. Wisdom she is. Hallelujah. Remember, the goal was when I started earlier, remember, when I'm trying to get money because we think that's all there is in prosperity. So trying to get it and that's what has been happening. So I was saying that there are risks you can take as single and there are ones you can take. So this particular person now can take such risk. Now I did not take such risk. <laughs> No, I can't carry all I have and down, take such risk because I want to blow overnight. Have I had so, taken such risk before? Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, if it's by risk that one gets money, ah, there are people that will have been very rich now. Hallelujah. But sometimes you need to apply wisdom. The problem is the pressure is too much, so you want to gain it overnight. And now, the funny thing now is that you thought now this four six thousand dollars I mentioned now, you thought it's something that you could get within one month. <laughs> it's funny. I'm talking about a few days, you're talking about this thing. Went like that. Went I collected some, I think three or four hundred dollars, and I put there. So I say, what did you do? Say, um, he showed me. And when he showed me, it's already $190. I say, you see, no headway. Oh, yeah, remove it now. So I was thinking, I said, no need of thinking anything. You see, when somebody is in this kind of situation, the person doesn't, there's no amount of thinking that is correct. I'm telling you, you, you think you are thinking. Okay. You assume you are thinking right, but actually, you are not thinking. You need to stay clear, first of all. Hallelujah. Number four, obedience. You see, obedience will make you and take you to the level of prosperity you desire. We can uh, take an example where we we'll dwell in Psalm a lot. Let's go to Second Kings chapter 4, verse 1. We are seeing the prophet Elisha. Just act of obedience, you know, and the because some of the prophet, the wife is owing, and they are trying to cage them. But obedience saved her from this situation. Now, one of the wives of the okay, King James will be fine now. Now, they cried the certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be born men. And Elisha said unto her, what shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in this house? And she said, thy handmaid had not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Jump to verse 5 because of time. So she went from him and shut the door upon her because she said, go and borrow not a few. She borrowed and everything. She said, and she shut the door upon her and upon her sons. She brought the vessels to her and she poured out six now. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto, unto her son, bring me yet vessels. And he said unto her, there is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Obedience, she came out of death. 
Now, it's not only that she paid the debt. They say you should go and leave Diane and the children on the rest. I mean, they were, they were surplus. Hallelujah. So even the instruction that we're giving in this, I want to, it's, a, it's an instruction. Say, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the prosperity you desire. Hallelujah. Love peace. Love the prosperity you desire. So it's by obedience even prosperity comes. So that's why someone wonder why is even the wicked prospering? And this one is not a believer. Why is this person? Why is this person? You know, he has money. He has everything. He said his health is okay and everything because your understanding of prosperity is wrong. Hallelujah. What heaven listens to is principle. Hallelujah. So you now that say believer, you. You pray, you pray, you pray, you pray. Like we're talking about, you pray now, talking about money, but you do nothing to make the money. But yet an, an unbeliever doesn't pray, but the unbeliever is doing something for the money to come. I mean, genuine business for the money to come. You think the money won't come? The money will come. Hallelujah. And that's how it was settled. Let's see another example in the same Kings. But this time, First Kings 17, verse 8, we are seeing the prophet Elijah, 1 Kings 17, verse 8, and walked in the status of the, you know, verse Kings 17, verse 8, 1 Kings. Are we there? All right. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, all right, Arise, get it to Zarephath, which belonged to Sidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. Verse 12, because of time. And she said, as the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake. The man of God has said, bring me a cake. Hallelujah. It's when the man of God is commanding you, bring me a cake. You now, you are gathering stick to make, to bake the last one and enjoy you and your son and die. And the man will say, bring me a cake. Hallelujah. But an handful of meal in a barrel and little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little. I'm saying I don't have. You are telling me to still do what you are saying. Hallelujah. And bring it unto me. And after, make for thee. Uh, uh, after you've brought what? The one that you have. Then after, make for thee and thy son. Next. Next. Of course, he giving her command. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she said, and she and he and her house did eat many days. And the barrel of me wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke, spake by Elijah. Hallelujah. Just obedience. You keep... You see, you, when you want to cruise, you decide to enjoy cruise. You're, you know, you're cruising in prosperity. You're just enjoying it, cruising, cruising. Why? Because the prophet has said, go and do this. So they're just enjoying it. Ah, may you enjoy prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. Many days they were enjoying themselves. I mean, they were just enjoying themselves. The farmer got nothing on them. There are people who are, they're scattered everywhere. It got nothing on them. Hallelujah. How do you explain, like I began to give examples earlier, in this time and season, people are trying to get themselves together. People are, 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 are buying estates. People are building in, in Ireland, different places. People are going to the moon. How do you explain it? Hallelujah. It's not today. We are seeing it here also. We just saw it earlier with Elisha. So there was scattered everywhere, and God said, go to this place. You see, when you obey command, it's easy to enjoy prosperity. If you can hack it onto the word of God, what the Bible says concerning prosperity, you will enjoy it. But one thing, it's not part of the point here, but one thing you can add it is patience. You have to be patient. As you obey, you have to be patient. That this person became worthy. 
at the age of 24. Yours might, might, might be 34. Yours might be 44. But you know what? God will not make you suffer in those years till you get to where you'll be at ease. Hallelujah. Everything is stage by stage. In life, God knows what you want. That's why if you are sure you are serving the living God, he doesn't disappoint. I'm telling you. You see, at the appointed time, it will be happening, happening like, like say, a movie. Bah, this thing will happen. That, this thing will happen. That, this thing will happen. Why? Because God has everything planned out. God is not giving you that money because your intention is to go and buy a car. And God knows that car will lead to your destruction. You want to show off. Hallelujah. That's why you've tried everything possible. The money is not coming. Tell your neighbor, relax. Now, do you think you can preach to this brother now that I gave an example? Do you think you can preach patient to that person more now? He's clean off now. Hallelujah. And for him to trade again, you have to really push him now. Like you have to push him. Hallelujah. Let's take this last one in verse nine, okay, Psalm 122, verse 8. You're learning something. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, Peace be within thee. You see what I said earlier? The reference I was making. This is what the scripture I was looking for. I say, If you will not do anything, even make reference for the obedience, for your family's sake and for your brethren's sake, if you will want to misbehave, think about your brethren. Say, For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Next. So, if you start for you to pray for the peace of Jesus, if you start for you to pray for prosperity, just for your brethren's sake, not because of you, you can pray when he comes, give it to them, continue your foolishness. Say, because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. The next thing is that you have to seek it. Hallelujah. You have to seek. If you don't seek, you don't get. The Bible says in Matthew 7, 7, it says seek and you shall what? So if you don't seek, you don't find. Hallelujah. How many times have you sought prosperity? So if you don't seek it, you don't find it. You, you can't find it. Don't fold your hand and think it just comes. No. But I'm praying one prayer. That God of heaven will make you so prosperous that men will begin to envy you in the name of Jesus Christ. As you obey his word and, and keep to his principles, in that there is seed time and harvest time. And the same God of principle that never forsakes the harvest time. If you've obeyed and you've been patient enough and you've sown the seed, God will bring his word to pass in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. None of his word, like his script, the scripture said, will go unfulfilled. Every job and it will be fulfilled in your life. As you remain hold on and hold on to God and be patient to his word. The God that keeps covenant and rewards faithfulness, he will reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord my God. <laughs>